welcome back to the Simi Plum Bob channel and today we're going to continue on with the Sims 4 Seasons. Okay, so today is freaking love day. <gasps> what is this? Hey Bridget, it's me, Roderick. Do you want to go on a date? He wants to take us to the restaurant. Happy New Year restaurant. Roderick, I haven't even gotten up to take a shower yet. And I'm not even that hungry yet. Any any time he asks us to go out, I think we're going to go out with him. Because she gets butterflies in her stomach. She hasn't taken a shower yet, but she doesn't care. She wants to go, so let's go. Hey, I thought we were going to a restaurant. Happy New Year restaurant. But instead, he took us here for some reason. Alright, so why don't we give him a love day gift? Um, we can give him some flowers, because I know we picked up some daisies. I'm sorry that's all I have, and it's pretty common in Delso Valley, but I'll just go ahead and give this to you. Here's a daisy. Happy Love Day. I hope you like it. What do you think? He's like, ugh, flower. <laughs> hey! Ah! Uh. Oh, don't even. Oh, my God. This is so awkward. Bridget, no. Look at the direction Brittany. I mean, Brittany. Oh, my God. Look at the direction Brid Bridget is looking. She's definitely not looking at him. She's looking at Andy. Oh, please don't notice. This has got to be a good date. Please don't notice that, Roderick. <laughs> ah, we're forgetting about Andy. Forget about Andy. Don't look over there. Look over here. Don't look over there. Look over here. Bridget, you're already messing up. <laughs> I think that's the reason why he didn't really accept it, because I think she's seen him coming before I did, and so she decided to do something real quick, like um, give him that flower. That was a quick romantic gesture she wanted to do with Roderick, and that's why he actually didn't uh, appreciate it, because it wasn't genuine. It was for a show, because her ex just decided to pop up out of nowhere. Bridget! Roderick, I think he caught got caught up on that, and that's why he didn't really like it, and that's why he's looking at her like, mm hmm with an eyebrow raised. Oh, Lawrence actually aged up to a child. Uh, so we're over here in the back, just trying to chill without everybody following us. He's feeling very focused. Yeah, I think he caught up on that real quick. Uh huh. They're hugging over there. He's like, look, Bridget, I think in the middle of this hug, it's because everybody's around them, and he wanted to hug her and talk to her privately, but, you know, she can't get no privacy because <laughs> we have people everywhere wanting to talk to Bridget. So he hugs her, and he's like, look, Bridget, I noticed that you had some tension going on with that dude that walked up, and I want to know something, okay? She was in, they're still hugging while he's talking to her, and she's like, okay, what's up? And he said, look, I really like you, and I asked you out on a date. I really want to have a great time with you, and um, I want to know if there is any chance that this could actually increase, or a relationship can become more serious and if it does I don't want to feel like I wasted my time and energy and Bridget is her heart is quaking at <laughs> at his words um, because she really likes Roderick okay he's a totally different dude she's never dated anybody like this before um, she's dating a freaking DJ for crying out loud so um, she's like okay I'm listening I, I get what you're saying and Roderick, let me just tell you something. I had a really, really bad breakup with that dude, okay? He was my ex, and Roderick is listening to her, and uh, he was like, so that dude that you showed off uh, to in front of, in front of, uh, in front of me, we showed off to is your ex and she was like yes um he's my ex and i'm sorry that i did that and 
it was just an impulse and I just want to let you know that there is no way <laughs> that he could ever come in between us he cheated on me he's like he did and she was like yeah and rumor has it that um, he's actually <sighs> married to the girl who he cheated on me with and he was like oh I didn't know that I'm just like yeah and I I'm sorry it was just an impulse and I really wanted to let him know that I'm okay without him you know I'm really sorry if that hurt your feelings and Roderick is starting to understand a little bit now he he isn't feeling too um too scared that this is just a show for her he is now feeling like mm. This could actually be something, uh -huh. aga, aga. something Sarma. more than just <laughs> just a very good friendship. So, um, we are wanting to get into the romantic spirit, and she said, "I'm sorry if I ruined our date." Um, I, I, that is not, <laughs> that is not my intention at all. I would never want to ruin. The time that we have oh. together, you know? Mobsy. And he's like, yeah. And she's like, okay. I just Carson wanted to let you know that. <laughs> and again, I'm so sorry. I I, I never want you to Chapter feel that way. And rack. It's nice to be oh, with someone I can talk to for hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now he's like complimenting her oh, and... And he Her is quest. starting to understand. Yeah, She's like, look, to make it up <laughs> to you, does. Roderick, how about we go on Where's another date today? Um, <laughs> you could come yeah. over. We can stay at my house so the paparazzi <laughs> don't follow us around. I can cook us a great <laughs> meal. And, you know, it, it, it'll just be great. And he was like, yeah, okay. I would like that a lot, actually. I will invite you over around... Uh, let's yeah. say four or five o'clock, something like that. that. Right. And he's like, yeah, okay. I just, I, I really like you, and I don't want you to disappear from my life. You are actually, besides him, the only guy that I really want to get to know. Well, that was a nice time. I'll call you, maybe. Lilith is a big fan of ours. Wow, that is so cool. Oh my god. So she actually smoothed. <laughs> she's just looking at us like, mm hmm. She actually smoothed things over with Roderick here. And uh, sh they feel a lot better. He's just swoon against her. And she's like, she knows that she is. All that and a bag of chips, <laughs> but he is just being swooned, and he, I think he really likes Bridget because she has accomplished something that he thought he wanted, and now he's into music, and I think they are perfect for each other because of that, because of the music background Bridget has, and he loves music, and he would like to produce his own someday, so that's really cool. But, um, Laura's off to work, and I think we should go ahead and go home. It's like, okay, I will see you this afternoon, Roderick. It's like, okay, bye, hon. <laughs> so, um, she felt bad that she almost ruined their date. Um, but it's fine. <sighs> She's gonna invite him over this afternoon to make it up to him to, um look all nice and fancy get him to be swooned all over again quite possibly meet her best friend Laura so um, I really want him to get to know her and quite possibly we could actually give him a residence key to our house maybe um, I don't know but that was like our first day and she almost ruined it so she feels bad um, but I think they can actually smooth things over. I mean, they smooth things over, and she explained to him why she did that. 
He seems like a very understanding guy, and that's what I like about him, too. Not only is he cute and he's into music, but he seems to be understanding. And after hearing that, I think he just might hate that dude just a little bit more. <laughs> I think he just might hate Andy a little bit more. I didn't expect people to be there. I think he wanted some quiet time with her as well but I think he thought it was too early to ask to come over to her house maybe so maybe that's the reason why he brought her to what was supposed to be an empty <laughs> closed club but actually um, people started showing up because Bridget was there and the paparazzi and stuff and ugh so dating is um, quite hard when you're a celebrity and you're out in public because people won't leave you alone and I've never wore the disguise yet, but I don't want her progress to um, increase her fame to stop anytime soon. So that's why I haven't done it yet. Um, I will most definitely do stuff like that, wear a disguise when I don't want people huddling around her uh, when she reaches her five star mark get all I, my goal in the acting career is to act in every single gig that's available um for her so that I can feel a sense of completion when it comes to that career so that's why I still go and see her act it's already 1 30 I think it's about time to actually cook um, a gourmet meal uh, because we want to be gooch gooch up in here. We want to impress him. And we're at level eight of the gourmet cooking. Oh my god, we're amazing. Let's make um, lobster thermidor. We could do um, a lemon and any herb. We got lemons. We can do a family size of four. We don't have to make a big portion of that. But we're going to go ahead and start making this uh, lobster because I think that would be very impressive <laughs> if you ask me so outfits we're actually going to change our outfit we're going to look wear this new outfit that I got her and we're going to look all glamorous and stuff and impress him so this is the new Ooh. outfit that um, I've ah. seen in Create a Sim um, I think she unlocked this, and I think she looks so great and ready for her uh, little date here. Oh, gee, she's got to clean that up, too. Girl, you make it a mess. <laughs> oh, he, uh -huh. he's number one in our contacts. Roderick is number one. He's like, oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, she put it on the table. Oh, that looks so nice. We can invite him over. I wonder if we can actually make something delish go ahead and actually make a cheesecake real quick and then we will invite him over because my goodness <laughs> we told him we would invite him over between three and five i mean four and five so it's only three something so we got plenty of time here What's this? Sparkling style from clothing item. Ooh. This outfit sparkles as much as Bridget's personality. <laughs> oh, wow. So this outfit, when you unlock it, it actually ha comes with a moonlit. Oh, that's cool. She feels so confident in her look. We can actually tell Lindsay. Music. Play. I want to play something romantic. Something romance yes let's turn on romance music he's like hi he's like hi it's like well you look great thank you <laughs> have us grab a serving together are you hungry let's actually go grab us something to eat so like, yeah okay i made some homemade dinner so um i hope you enjoy it's like yeah this looks delicious <laughs> And I also made dessert, some city cheesecake. It's like, oh wow. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my god. I love them. <laughs> uh, uh, they just met, like in the last part, and they're just going on a date and just spending time together. And that's what I love about this, is that they are actually spending time together. Um, They aren't... 
<laughs> moving Ooh. too fast. Uh -huh. They're keeping it friendly uh -huh. and fun and um, they just talk about um, uh, what they love and everything. Why don't you just grab a new idea to him too? It's like, how's dinner? It's like, it's freaking delicious. <laughs> Laura's home. She's going to come and watch television a little bit. Fish for compliments from him. He's got to know who you are. But she seems to be having fun when she talks to him. And that makes me so happy. Um, but we got leftovers. If you want any lobster, Laura, we got it. She's like, well, thank you. Uh, maybe you should go and greet him as well. Uh, not a flirty introduction. Oh, she would kill you. Um, let's do a cheerful introduction to him. Nice to meet you. Hi, I am Bridget's best friend. I think Bridget wants her to approve of him. Let's compliment his outfit. Um, I think that would mean a lot coming from somebody who is a stylist. I think compliment his style. I think that would mean a lot. It's very nice to meet you, but I leave y'all two alone. Y'all have fun. I really want to give you a residence key so that you can come over anytime you want. Um, establish our romantic relationship here, you know? Why not? <laughs> you are like a diamond in the freaking rough. He's like, yeah, honestly, I, th I thought that I was totally out of your league. It's like, you did? Why would you think that? And he said, because you're a four-star celebrity and I'm a nobody. She goes, well, you're a nobody right now, but it doesn't mean that you can't become a somebody. Everybody starts from the bottom. This reminds me of when Lynn and Zachary started getting coming, getting together and they their faces were that close to one another. That's what it reminds me of, but it's Bridget and Roderick now. <laughs> I think it's so cool. Oh my god, you um, are the cutest, you two. Invite to stay the night? Let's see what he says about that. Sleepover? Sounds great. He's actually tired right now. Alrighty, cool. So, w let's watch a movie together. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're actually, yeah, that's scary. <laughs> They're so cute. I love them. They're so cute. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. <laughs> I'm going to have to repair this for my best friend. So, um, you go ahead and go to bed. Oh, he's going to bed in her bed. Oh, no. <laughs> she told him she, he could go ahead and sleep in her bed. But she didn't tell him which freaking room it was. Um, so... He's actually sleeping in Laura's bed right now. Oh my god. I can go sleep out in the tent and you can actually sleep um, in my bed, Laura, tonight. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't tell him which room. Uh, I, th I think he just assumed that was my room. I'm so sorry, Laura. And Laura's like, okay, okay. I'll sleep in your bed tonight. They're just spending time together. I think it's cute. So the one thing that she hasn't told uh, Roderick anything about is all the con romantic conquests she's had, um, or she had. Um, she hasn't even talked to him about that at all. And I'm pretty sure people probably know about that already. But um, she doesn't know if Roderick knows or if that would bother him too much, you know. It is Lynn and Zachary's anniversary today, so we might need to call up Mom and talk to her for a little bit. Because now that she's an elder, I want I want um, Bridget to actually talk to her mom more often than she has been, you know. I want her to talk to her and talk to her stepdad, too. You know what, there's just so much that she wants to share about her life well, with yeah. Roderick. Like how the fact that she oh, has yeah. a little, she has a younger brother and a younger sister. There's just so many things. So we're going to call up mom and wish her a happy anniversary Goodbye. with uh, Zach here. So she's like, hey mom, happy anniversary. I just wanted to call and chat with you for a moment. And congratulate you on another year. It's like, well, thank you, sweetheart. Oh, he's got to go. 
So yeah, I gotta go. Um, I didn't go to the club last night, so I'll have to go and prepare for that. She's like, okay, Roderick, I'll see you later. Bye, thanks for spending the night. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe one day we can actually go to his house. Ooh, I think that would be fun. And she called you know. up Lynn and she called up Zachary and wished them both a happy anniversary. And she feels good about herself now that she isn't going to forget her family on this special day. And now she's going to go and work on her guitar. Woohoo! She actually completed her resolution in time. Good job. Okay, she's been promoted to Wardrobe Wiz. Um, she has cl a crystal clear digital camera and 1,999 simoleons as um, <clears throat> an extra thingy. So what's this? Barely finished on time from completing a resolution on the last day. Phew! Just completed a resolution with hardly any time to spare. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know that was a thing either, but yay, she did it. Okay, so she's at level 8 of the stylist career. So it says, true magic doesn't require a wand, but a coat hanger in either hand holding a carefully considered piece of attire. Bring a spell to every wardrobe. Next promotion, makeover miracle worker. Okay, so we actually need to get our charisma up to level 7. So that's what she's going to be working on on today. Yay! Okay, she actually reached level 5 of the guitar skill finally. So, we are pretty much ready for any gig now, I think. We leveled up all of our skills for our acting and I think she's pretty much ready. She's getting stressed. She's like, oh, I can't believe I haven't been nominated for anything in a while. Ugh, stressing her out a little. Uh, let's actually do a... A recorded neighborhood footage and see what that does because we haven't done that yet either. <laughs> React in disguise. Hello. Oh, look how cute that thing he is. Ah, we had a cheaper one in high school and now that we're older and we have a lot more money, we actually got a more expensive drone here with eyeballs. That's so cute. I'll see you when you get back. Bye. There he goes. Nee, 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 nee. We got a paparazzi just standing outside. Another paparazzi. And we got another dude just standing outside. Oh my Jesus. Here he goes. Look at him. Recording the neighborhood. Charity is appreciative of the sizable donation. And thanks Laura Barger and their don donor newsletter. So we. Giving gusto. Giving it to charity is its own reward, but a little bit of self-complimentary recognition isn't so bad. Roderick. Hey. Uh... A surprise pop in. Are you up for grabbing a drink? I could really use a change of scene and a heart to heart. Help Anybody fix bad so? relationship. He's got a bad relationship with Monica Morris. Is that why Monica wanted to talk to us? <laughs> because they aren't getting along very well. <laughs> I thought you would be at the club right now. And he goes, yeah, I went there and you know what? I just, I'd rather be here right now. She's like, oh, well, that's sweet of you. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, um, I hope that's okay. She goes, oh, yeah, it's fine. So I think she really, <laughs> she really has gotten him to fall in love with her. And she doesn't know how she did it exactly other than just greeting him, you know. He is just so different from what she's known about Andy because Andy... Andy's mom is Ansley, which we all know, and um, she is very primp and very, po well, not posh, I don't know. She's very primp, she's very snooty, she's a snob, materialistic, things like that. Nice clothes, rich, you know, that's what she's known growing up and dating Andy. She's always known that he was a rich, um, rich snob, if you will. <laughs> and I bet that's why Nadia had a huge crush on him to begin with. Um, not only because he's rich, but because he chose to date Bridget, you know? So that's what Bridget has always thought. And now she's actually dating a more grungier type dude. He he has no money. He's told her that he is very poor. He is currently unemployed into the 9 to 5 business. He actually works <laughs> on um, getting gigs and whatnot. She loves how different they they 
are with one another. She loves how she can bond with him and not have a memory of someone else in the back of her head. You know, it's different and it's amazing and it's exciting. And, and she just, she's just feels all around happy about it. And she doesn't ever want to not be able to be around Roderick and she loves that he just comes in for a surprise pop in you know after he left earlier in the day he comes right back <laughs> to see her before he goes back home and she she just feels so special when it comes to Roderick because he always wants to be around and she's so happy that she gave him a house key to their trailer so more than likely you guys we're going to be seeing Roderick around a lot and maybe they will think about making it more um, serious. Maybe they will want to commit to each other. I don't know yet. I think it's still a little too early to say that they are ready to commit to one another. But I am so happy that they are actually getting along and that... He just reminds her of home, and especially with how much he is passionate about music, it reminds her so much of her mother, and it, it just brings a warm feeling in her heart, and he reminds her of home, and no matter where he's come from, he's still trying to pursue his dream of producing music, and that is exactly what her mom did, and she is... You know, she's just so happy she found someone who's so amazing to her. But anyways, I'm going to actually stop this part right here. And thank you all so much for watching. And I really hope you like this part. And I will see you in the next part of The Sims 4 Get Famous. <laughs> Everybody have a great day.